Welcome back to the SNN Podcast. I'm your host, J.D. Dela Cruz, and I have a few special guests with me today. Today, I am joined by the wonderful, the intelligent, the wisdom-filled Mr. Dylan. Hello, J.D. Thank you for having me here. Of course, and of course, I have two of my theater crew here. We have Alex Schroeder. You can say hi, Alex. Are you muted? Bueno. Oh, there it is. And David Gould. Hi. Mr. Dillon, I understand this is your last year of teaching here at our glorious St. Augustine High School. It is. It has been a, a wonderful three years of teaching here. And then I also did my Augustinian volunteer year as well here. So it's been um, an incredible four years. It was absolutely not an easy decision for me to leave. I am going back to the high school I graduated from, where my, my dad still currently teaches. Um, and it was just kind of a opportunity I felt like I had to take advantage of because it doesn't come up that often. But um, as I said, that doesn't make it easier to leave. Very sad to, to be doing so. And I'm grateful for, for all my time here, all the, the people I have encountered, faculty and students alike that have made this uh, such an awesome experience for me, such an awesome place in general. Mr. Dillon, how old were you when you started here at Saints? When I started here at Saints, I was a young spring chicken just out of college at 22, I guess. 22 years old. Wow. Do you boys have any other questions for Mr. Dillon? Um, I, I think this one might be somewhat relevant. Um, has there, is there an origin story behind the beloved icon of the gong? <laughs> behind the gong here, you want me to? I have the gong here, want me to give it a... No, I don't, I don't want to see it. I, I truly detest it. I just want to know what the origin story is. Um, the origin story of the gong, I don't know where it was uh, forged originally in the, the fires of Mordor or something, but it was purchased by myself via Amazon Prime shipping um, probably probably right about a year ago now I've been doing this for two years so I you know started every class with with a little prayer a little reflection my first year of teaching but wanted to do something more wanted to incorporate a way for students to have this kind of intentional silence in their lives and thought a uh, little gong would be a nice way to uh, to make that a little more, uh, to bookend the silence and hopefully get the experience. So that is what, uh, what caused me to purchase the gong. What about the goat under your desk? Oh, the goat. Uh, yeah, LeBron James um, is the name of the, the stuffed goat that lives under my desk. And he, his origin story also... Um, is a little bit, little bit murky, but he he first uh, we first crossed paths in Mrs. Walker's room actually. She I just I just saw LeBron there and and we had an instant connection, and I said you know what I I need to take this thing back with me I think so I don't know if a student had left it there um, I don't think Mrs. Walker knew where it came from uh, maybe maybe God himself just um, Put, put LeBron in Mrs. Walker's room that's that fateful day that fateful day and I was lucky enough to to pick him up and he's, he's lived under my desk ever since. Will LeBron be joining you on your journey to Dayton, Ohio? It's a great question actually. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll leave it up to LeBron. I'm open to suggestions. Um, he's been a good companion but but maybe it's his home here at Saints so so I'm not sure. If you if you all have suggestions, I'm happy to hear them. Now for our last serious question, what have you learned uh, here at Saints in all your years among the students, among the, the Saintsmen? What have I learned? I've learned learned quite a bit. Um, it has been, been awesome to see you all um, and how you just kind of interact with one another. I think there is something special to be said for an, an all-boys high school. 
um, and the way that you guys, it seems like the added pressure of um, having uh, young women around uh, does change the the atmosphere a little bit and the way that you all have you know when I when I first came here as an Augustinian volunteer I asked someone about that you know it's like well, I heard all boys school I had gone to a co-ed school myself I thought it'd be just kind of you know this this macho you know trying to beat each other up atmosphere and the students were like oh no we don't have anyone to impress we're just nice to each other um, and that has been kind of my my experience so that's been awesome to see you know what's what's possible for teenage guys to be able to you know have these deep friendships to be able to you know support one another to love one another and that's something that I will always always cherish something I'll definitely miss and hopefully I'll try to bring back to my high school even though it is um a, a co-ed high school that I'll be teaching at I think that's something that's um really special that I've been uh Happy to see at Saints. If anyone can handle the estrogen, it's you, Mr. Dillon. Not sure how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been a pleasure to be a student in your classroom, Mr. Dillon. But um, yeah, I. Having you guys. I, I honestly, I don't know what to say it doesn't feel real because you're like a big part of my. Uh, my formation of my identity, especially sophomore year. It was a really interesting period in my life. And a lot went on and I was like, wow, Mr. Dillon's class like actually helped, unlike other people's classes. But uh, yeah, no, just seriously, I, I appreciate everything you did for us, Mr. Dillon. Um, I know that your future students will appreciate it. And man, it's gonna be sad to see you go. JD, as I said, it's... Um you know, opportunity I, I think I have to take, but it's, but it's been very sad for me as well. Um, and I'll uh, miss you guys a lot. It will be, will be weird. Um, as I said, to, to all my current students and to, to anyone who, who may be listening to this, you know, I gave my, my personal email, love for you all to, to still be in touch. Um, still hear, hear how things are going for y'all. That's the, uh, if here I can give it now, it's Dylan, my last name, D-I-L-L-O-N, Brendan, my first name, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, number seven at gmail.com. Um, it would be, be awesome to keep hearing for you guys. It has certainly been, been a pleasure teaching you all. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Thank that you. wraps it up for today's SNN podcast. And, uh, just to conclude, we had Mr. Dillon, we had David Garola, and we had Alex Schroeder. This has been the SNN Podcast. I am your host, J.D. Delacruz, and I'm wishing all you Saintsmen a wonderful day.